What is going on, beautiful ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be doing the Lufedia Plus for Assailing Leviathan. This is the new divine event that's happening nowadays. This is the new event that is happening. And I can't wait to do this fight. This is my first try. You Normally when I record, I usually do a couple of fights off screen. So I'm able to figure out what kind of boss this is. But this is you guys are going to be witnessing first hand my first fight with this divine leviathan now i didn't read a whole lot about it but from the showcases that i saw from zach and ramza it seems to have a, some sort of effect where you can't break it for a certain period of time i'm not sure how much that's going to affect my attack and damage but you know you never know until you actually try right wait, wait why am i doing weak damage already that doesn't make what why am I doing weak damage? I didn't even set up with Garnet yet. What? That doesn't make sense. Um, unless they already have some... Unless Leviathan already has some inherent elemental weakness. But I'm pretty sure it was able to... I'm pretty sure it absorbs water, doesn't it? So, is it already inherently weak to lightning? I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna start off with Noctis uh, phase to get that zero turn run started. And that's going to be my main goal. Here, uh, again, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what Leviathan does. Normally, with the other, with the other summon Lufenias, at when you once you hit a certain uh, HP percentage, they do do an attack. So I'm assuming there's going to be the same thing for Leviathan. But the reason why I have Zack, and by the way, he is green. <laughs> he is green. So once I get that BT uh, effect going. I really don't have to worry about damage, like, at all. I really don't have to worry about dying unless the orb count goes down. And uh, from, my, from what I'm reading, the orb, it, apparently if you take damage and one of your effects reduces the brave damage taken, then that'll boost up the orb. So, basically, I just gotta let the enemy attack. That's pretty much how it comes down to. And, yeah, we got a good percentage already from Noctis' attack. I'm assuming around, like... 5 mil, 4 mil, 4.4, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine for a uh, phase. Okay, so, what I'm planning on doing, I don't really know how to, I don't really know what strategy I'm supposed to do differently with Zack, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the BT attack immediately to get that effect up, and then with Garnet, wait, why did I get delayed? Did I get delayed? Okay, that's, that's kind of weird. Well, we're going to use Prize of Freedom. And we're gonna hopefully get that attack up, and... On paper, I shouldn't have to worry about any more damage. Yeah, okay. What? Okay, okay, so, apparently it delays me whenever I do it, so I... Contemplating whether I should just go to immediately a BT attack with Garnet. So I don't have to waste any time. But, because I normally do skill 2, period at Thunder Flash, but... If, uh... But if I get delayed like that, it's going to attack before either of my BT effects can come. So I'm going to do the Garnet BT attack now. Because the BT attack also has that refund capability. So whenever any of my party members attacks, they're going to get that brave refund, which is always nice. It's always nice to have. All right. Um, it doesn't look like the damage is too different. Even though we're not dealing critical brave damage. Well, that also might be because of Garnet's ores. So, okay. Let's see what we have for an attack here. Wow, that was a lot of brave attacks. <laughs> That's like a machine gun. But, uh, yeah, I don't... Okay, I don't see too difference of a damage, but... Okay. Oh, and I noticed that the lock... The lock debuff is already on the boss. I don't even have to do anything with Zack. And his LD buff is already up as well. So, okay. R.I.P. Zack. R.I.P. Zack. It's funny that is... Oh, I was going to spoil something about Zack, but, you know... Some people might not know what happened to him, but, you know... Ah, fuck it. Y'all probably know. Uh, so, Zack! <laughs> During that attack, I'm pretty sure that was the cutscene that he actually died in. Rest in peace. It's, it's really... It's really ironic that they used the attack that he did right before he died. Given that after his BT attack, he... Pretty much almost never dies. <laughs> unless you unless you tick the Lufenia Corp unless you tick the Lufenia orb down, which 
as long as you play it somewhat smart, then you'll be fine. But, uh, uh yeah. So, uh, we have one... I have one LD buff turn left, so we're gonna do that LD to get that refreshed. I don't have any friend units, so if Noctis runs out of uh, Steel Pirouette, I'm I'm going to use that summon just to, just for a good measure, just in case, just in case we don't have enough turns to take out Leviathan. It's been kind of easy so far. It's been kind of easy. Well, then again, I am using Zack, so I don't know if that's kind of fair for me to say. <laughs> I don't know if that's fair to the boss. I imagine if I used Zack BT Plus for any of the other summon Lufenias, it'd be significantly easier. But, uh, okay. So, I think this is actually kind of good that I get delayed. Because, normally with this type of run, the enemy doesn't get a single turn. It doesn't get a single turn, but since the orb ticking up requires you to give them a turn, getting myself delayed after every attack is actually really nice. So, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. This is really good. And since the enemy has two attacks, uh, two turns, that orb is going to be ticking up a lot. So we're going to use Apocalypse, get that EX uh, Brave Reduction as if he needed more. Oh my god. Oh, a million damage? Oh my god. A million? Yeah, wow. I didn't really look too deep into what kind of reworks that Zack had, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> he might as well be a DPS unit, honestly. He might as well be a DPS unit. That, is that... Is it, would that be fair to say? I mean, he is a tank. So, <laughs> but, uh... He's a tank DPS. That is... That is a broken combination. And then, yeah. Yeah, wow. That's a lot of... That's a lot of damage reduction. Holy. Because Zach's BT attack, what it does is it locks all the damage. Not just the enemy, but it locks all the damage to towards Zack, so your party members aren't going to be getting any damage whatsoever. It's He's basically kind of like Bosch. Uh, th that's really broken. Um, I don't... <laughs> Jesus Christ. On top of all the great damage he does? Jeez. I didn't even look at his auras. I didn't even look at what kind of effects his BT does besides, you know, being an, being an immovable tank. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost done. I think we'll be able we'll be able to do this in one go. I don't freaking know. You, I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. This is going to be a first for a very long while. I don't think I've ever done like a first turn run. It no, I don't think I've ever done a first try run in a very very long while. Not even since like what Pandemonium, Lufania Plus. Well, I wasn't even, like, filming a YouTube video. For my channel, at least, this is the first time I've ever done a first try run. So that's... that's really surreal, man. I, I, I might cry, man. This is, like... holy. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm kind of getting better as a player, or if... It's just because of Zack BT+. It might be Zack BT+, honestly. It might just be Zack BT+. <laughs> but it uh, is what it is. I might use... yeah, I'm gonna use the EX. I'm going to use the EX, because that's his most damaging move. How many times have I said that in every single run? I'm gonna stop saying that. Stop saying I gotta I gotta come up with better I gotta come up with more original things to say. I can't just say I can't just say the same things over and over again. That's gonna be boring for you guys. But uh yeah. Yeah. I'm at least going to be able to I'm at least gonna try and refresh Noctis' BT attack. So get his uh, to refresh his BT effect right before summons because you can't do a BT attack before a summon, like which I'm not complaining about by the way. Like imagine, imagine being able to do a BT attack in a phase. That is so imagine no, be, imagine being able to do a BT phase in a summon. That's crazy, <laughs> wild dude. That is freaking wild. But uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna do that apocalypse refresh that. Plus it does a hell of damage. I haven't done his. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I have, have I done his uh, chain attack already? His skill two? Have I done that? I'm not sure yet, but I uh, I know back then, even before Zach's BT, that his chain attack did hella damage, almost almost one million. So by this point, he probably he probably easily does one million with that. Yeah, talk about Zach being in the million club. Hello, <laughs> Zach is definitely in the million club, bro. Yeah, and he's not even a DPS unit. That's wild, isn't it? He does more damage than freaking Cloud. And Cloud's supposed to be the damaging unit out of the two. But Zack, bro, dude. 
I wonder how canon Zack being this broken is in the actual Final Fantasy uh, universe. I know Zack is like one of the... I think he's like the second right-hand man to Sephiroth, but honestly, Zack is way better than Sephiroth in this game. <laughs> way, way, way better. But uh, I'm curious to see how broken he was in the actual game. I imagine in the same caliber as Cloud, but I don't know. He's definitely become he's definitely become one of the best units in the game now like, well, for this. But uh, yeah, I'm at, I'm at. I might have to read up on that. I need to, like, up my knowledge of actual Final Fantasy lore, because, as you guys know, this is actually my first game, my first Final Fantasy game that I've pretty much ever played, and I did try and start, like, a Final Fantasy playthrough series with Final Fantasy 1, but that game pissed me off so much I eventually stopped. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to continue playing it, or if I continue the Final Fantasy series, I might just go on to 2 because I'm pissed off by 1. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. but uh, yeah, we're almost done with this boss, dude. We're almost done with this boss. That is freaking wild. So, on top of that, I still have to use a BT attack from from Noctis. I still have to use this, and that alone does 1.5 million damage. So, yeah, I might just do a summon right now just to make sure I don't accidentally get a turn, and then just finish the boss off right here. So, yeah. That's really cool. Oh, look at how many turns. Look how many any turn. Look how many enemy turns they have. That's isn't that cute? <laughs> isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? But sight? Give me those six turns, boy. Give me those six turns. You ain't get no turns. You had enough. You chain slash. Jesus Christ! And he does three. He does three a piece. So that's six. That's one point four mil. What? From Zach. Bro, does Makina even do that much damage? <laughs> I'm confused. Does Makina even do that much damage with his burst attack? I don't freaking know, dude. But holy, is that that is crazy. And yeah, we're we're like yeah, we're 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 cooking, bro. We are cooking. We're cooking filet mignon with this Leviathan, bro. We about to have Vietnamese sushi right after this. <laughs> Wait, Vietnamese sushi? That's not no, that's Japanese. My bad. <laughs> Japanese sushi. We about to have some sashimi with wasabi, bro. Yeah, you see that Noctis with his attack? He's dicing up. He's dicing up the food for prep. We're about to put it in the walk soon, bro. Where's the soy sauce? Oh, Zack is attacking. Zack's getting the finishing move. That's that's actually really fitting, bro. That's actually really fitting that Zack is the person to attack and kill the Leviathan Lufenia Plus. But we're done. That was my first turn. That was my first try with this fight. I... I really did. I, I I'm being 100% sincere when I say I didn't. I had no idea really what this boss was about. But uh, we finished it. This is a first. This is an aloe first. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I will see you guys in the next video.